Let's solve this system of equations I'm color coding to help you understand how we do this. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to combine these top two equations, red and yellow make orange. We're going to combine them and eliminate one of the variables. Then we're going to combine the bottom two equations, uh, red and blue make purple, and we're going to make another equation in the same two variables. So the key is to find the easiest variable to eliminate. And I can see from the purple that I can eliminate, I can eliminate the, uh, the y very easily if I just multiply through by negative 1 here. That I would eliminate the y's when I add them straight down. I would get negative 2x. The, the y's would go away. Plus 3z equals 4. Wait, where are we? Don't we do the first two equations? No, you can, I'm doing the bottom ones oh, first. That okay. doesn't matter what oh. order you do them in. But I'm going to do the bottom oh. ones first because it's easy to see that mm -hmm. the y's would be eliminated very mm -hmm. nicely. So this, I'm going to write it over now here. Be left with Negative 2x plus 3z equals 4. All right, now I'm going to erase all this so that we can see the original again because I don't want to be confused. So I'm going to turn that back into a... A negative right there. Okay, now we're going to do the same thing for the top two equations. We're going to use orange and we're going to eliminate again the same variable. So how would I eliminate the y? What would be the easiest way to eliminate the y multiply when I'm combining? Three. Right, multiply this top equation Oops. by three. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Whoops. So when I multiply that by three, I'm going to get, I'll just write it up here, I'm going to get 18x minus 3y plus 9z equals 27. Then don't you add them? So yep, and now I'm going to combine those two, the orange, well the new yellow at the top which is orange, and the red one, so I'm going to combine 19X. those. 19x. 19x, the y's are gone, plus 8z equals... 35. Mm -hmm. Alright, again, I'm going to clean this up because I don't want to see all that mess later. That Isn't confusing. this negative 4 here? Because you multiply this by negative 1, so wouldn't you multiply this by negative 1 to get negative 8? This one earlier, what, the, what I had done is I'd multiplied the bottom thing by a negative. Mm -hmm. So this was a negative 4 down here, mm -hmm. but 8 plus a negative oh, 4 okay. is a positive yeah. 4. That's how I got that. All right. All right, so now, so now we're going to eliminate, now we have an equation, we've done this in Algebra 1, we have a system of two equations with just two variables, mm -hmm. and now we can eliminate one of the variables to solve for the other one. Mm -hmm. It's not always easy, mm -hmm. like in this case it's not easy, but mm -hmm. we can do that. So the easiest thing to do is probably to multiply this top equation right here. I'm going to eliminate the z. So I'm going to multiply the top equation by 3, and I'm going to multiply the bottom equation by negative 8. So let me do that. Why? Because that will give me a positive 24 oh, yeah. and a negative 24z. So let's do that down here. Let's, this is where it gets a little bit messy. you got, got to keep track of your different equations. So I'm going to multiply this by 3. And I'm going to get 60 minus 3 is 57x. I just multiplied 19, 20 times 3, which gave me 60, but I took 3 away from it because that's only 19. That's a quick way to do math in your head. Plus 24z equals 35. 30 times 3 is 90 plus 15 is 105. Let's do the same thing, or not the same thing, but let's multiply this bottom equation now by negative 8. So that's going to be a positive 16x. That's going to be a negative 24z. And that's going to be a negative 32. Okay, I think I forgot this step. Yep, that's the trick. It's a, there's a lot of tedious work, and that's really the problem. Mm -hmm. Now I add these straight together. And I get 6073x equals 
please tell me 73. So X it's 73, one. which means X equals 1, and mm -hmm. all that mess tells me I probably did that right for that mm -hmm. to work out so nicely. So now that I've found what X equals, now I go back and I plug that in to any two equations that I want, and now I'll have one, two equations and two variables mm -hmm. again. So I'm going to plug into the red one. I'm going to plug 1 in for X for the red one and for the blue one and I'm going to rewrite those equations down below. So my new red equation is going to be 3y minus z equals, notice I'm subtracting 1 from both sides, 7. What? I just, I had plugged in a 1 for x, so oh, I subtracted yeah. it. And then do the same thing for the blue one. You can follow what I'm doing in my head. Mm -hmm. It's going to be 3y minus 4z equals, I'm mm -hmm. subtracting 3 now, that equals 1. And now I have Minus 5z is equal to... Now I have, again, two... two no, don't combine them yet, because I have to eliminate a variable. How do I eliminate? Multiply by negative Multiply 1. Multiply by negative 1. Now when I add down, I get negative... I'm sorry. I get... Not negative. I get 3z. 3z equals 6. Equals 6, which means z equals 2. And if I have x and z, I can plug in x and z into any, really any of the equations okay. above. I'll just plug it into this one right here. Mm -hmm. Negative 2, which means I add 2, which gives me 9. Three, 9 divided by 3 is 3. And then check them mm -hmm. by plugging them in. I would plug them into the one that you haven't used recently, because chances are if it's right, it'll, and it works in there, so that you're good. So I take the first two equations, and I get rid of one of the variables, then I do the same thing to the second mm -hmm. two. And then and get rid of the same variable. Same variable. Then I That's what I did here. I'm left with the two, two equations, equations and I get rid of one of those variables. Yep. Get rid of one of those variables. And then I'm left then with the plug number. it back into like two of the other original equations. Mm -hmm. Solve that. And then plug those two things back in to find the third variable. Yeah. And that's okay. the long laborious process of solving a system of three equations with three variables. Oh, and so let's check it one more time. Mm -hmm. 6 times 1 is 6, six minus three, 3 is 3, three. Plus 3 plus 6, six is, is 9, nine. and that does work, so it's, that's right.